Hi, my name is Ben Orchard. I am a member of the pre-sales team here at Adopto22 in Temecula, California. Prior to relocating to the United States of America, I was a building automation technician for a large hospital in Victoria, Australia. There, we used Opto22 hardware and software for many different aspects of the hospital's building automation. I'd like to take a few moments to share with you some hints and tips that we developed over the years. Our focus for this screencast will be on pack display. One of the first things that need to be planned is how you are going to navigate between the different windows that make up your display project. Having a clear and well-defined navigation control will allow your users to smoothly navigate to the different parts of your process. Your navigation area should be flexible enough to grow as your process becomes more automated. When we first started automating the hospital, we had two windows in our project. When we left 18 years later, we had over 1,000 windows. This growth was not anticipated when we started. Thankfully, our navigation control we put in from the start could handle that growth. It's a lot of work to go back and change a lot of windows when you need to make a major change like that. You can see our control on the right hand side of this window. You can place your navigation in any location, but giving it a consistent location is very important. One way to make it consistent is to make a blank window that will serve as a template for all your other windows. Simply copy this window each time you need to make a new window and all aspects of your project will be the same. The background colour, the title location, font, size and colour will all be the same and of course your navigation control will be as well. Another aspect that needs to be considered early on is what screen resolution you would like to set the project for. Do you want it to take up the whole screen? Do you want it to be widescreen? Again, going back over your whole project and resizing a few hundred windows takes a lot of time and work. Better to plan it from the start. Looking at this screen, you can start to get a feel for how the navigation menu works. All the different processes that serve this one hospital location are listed on the navigation control. You can click on any building on the plan and call up that location and navigate your way into the building's controls. Pack Display can import bitmaps, JPEGs and Windows metafiles. Here we've exported from AutoCAD the floor plan for this level of the building. When placing information on your graphics screens, think about what extra information you can put with it and really assist your users in getting the most from the display. For example, here we've placed the room thermostats in the same physical location as they are in the room. We've also added what coil box and air handling unit serves that room. Here we have brought in both the floor plan layer and the ductwork layer from AutoCAD. This is a hard screen to navigate, so you can click on the unit number if you know it, or you can click on each area to zoom in a little more, like this. If you've selected the wrong area, you can click on the direction arrow to move into the different areas. It saves the user having to go back up and then down again in zoom levels simply to reselect a different zone. Here we get to the bottom zoom level and you can see that we've added information about the room temperature at this level. For many users this is enough. However, if need be, you can select a super trend for the area and make many PID setting changes. This is the template window for all the super trends in our project. By spending the time getting this one screen to look and function the way we want it, we know that every time we need a trend, we can just copy this one template window and have the new window look like it fits in with the rest of the project. All the graphics in this window were made from the tools that Opto provide. Pack Display Configurator and Symbol Factory were the only applications used to create this window. At first, I was making each window like this from scratch each time, but it soon occurred to me that there were a lot of common shapes in each process that I was drawing. Why not make a window with groups of my common shapes? Think about your process and what shapes you'll need. It might be worth making a collection of common shapes right from the very start. This is just one such window that we made for the hospitals. Others had heat exchanges, tanks and common air handling unit configurations. I started each window name with a letter Z. This way they would be at the bottom of the window list. It's out of the way for the other windows and yet easy to find when I need it. So now, when I had to make a window like this, it was fast and easy to do. 
all the shapes were readily on hand. They are already in the colours I need, the size and the angles are all set, ready to use. Once again, I started making the window by copying my original blank template. All I did in this case was change the background colour. The rest is ready to go. And the most important thing, the navigation bar, it's already placed in the correct location ready for me to fill out. A busy window like this can seem overwhelming, but when broken down, it's a matter of getting one of the main shapes right and then duplicating it and replacing the tag names. By careful selection of tag names in Pack Control, building large displays is a lot easier. By selecting all the items, right click, select rename, then tag name. In this way, you can add the other three units in around about a minute. What I would like to point out here is that spending a moment making your graphics look like the process can be very worthwhile. Here, I've made the multi-stack chiller on the graphics look like the actual chiller. You can see the panels and the display match the graphics. This helps your users identify with the graphics a lot quicker. They can locate themselves in your process visually and physically. Here is another example of the four different colour pipes I pre-made. The tanks and other shapes are from Symbol Factory, which is included in both Pack Basic and Pack Pro. With Pack Basic Configurator importing JPEGs, you can easily consider adding photos for your process and overlay data to show the current state of the process. Here we have added extra information for the users. While it's not connected to any tags in the controller and so it's not live in any way, it still serves a very useful purpose. When the room is over temperature, an SMS alert is raised. The technician would look at this screen to check the conditions. Having the instructions on how to reset the chiller and what to do with the valves right on the screen makes for a very smooth and thus fast response to the alarm condition. Using Google SketchUp, a free download from Google, I created this 3D render of the uninterruptible power supply room at the hospital and imported it into Pack Display. Each of the UPSs has a built-in web server and by clicking on the Internet Explorer icon, the program launches and takes you to the correct page. This is easily accomplished in Pack Display Configurator. Double click on the shape that you want your users to launch Internet Explorer. You can then set the working directory and the command line. The latter is where you put the specific IP address or URL of the web page you want to view. Now, when your users click on the icon, Internet Explorer launches and displays the exact web page you need your users to view. These last few screenshots show some of the housekeeping windows we built to help manage the whole system. This window shows the recipe upload and download status. We use the recipe function built into Pack Display to back up and restore our persistent variables. Before we do a firmware upgrade, we can check this window and make sure that our data is up to date. With this schedule, we simply click on the days that will be public holidays and store those days to the controller. Each controller then uses that vacation information as programmed in their respective strategies. If the alarming function that's built into Pack Display is not exactly what you need, then you can write your own. The power of Pack Display is to be able to create the functionality that you want. Lastly, here's an example of an overview screen that we built. It's a simple way to check the date, time, memory, firmware version and current errors on a lot of controllers all at once. Thanks for your time. I hope that you picked up a few little tips that will help make your project development go a little faster and that the end result will be a little sharper. Remember. The graphics are what most people see and will judge your process and company on. Keeping it looking sharp and navigating consistently will go a long way to projecting the image you want.